Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. Woohoo! I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where today in Jen's sewing room, it's Friday Sews. And that's just when the sewing community all comes together, watchers and creators alike, and we talk about what we've been doing, what's currently on our work table, and what's going to be, and a little bit of life. So let's get to the sewing straight away. Let me tell you what I have been working on and that is New Look 6626, except I haven't been working on this because I was going to make it out of a waffle knit that had cupcakes printed all over it. Such a cute print, didn't have enough fabric. I had 60 inch fabric, but I just didn't have enough to lay it out without any overlap and it just didn't work. So I, oh, I'm gonna have to go buy fabric. <laughs> Who do you know that sews that is unhappy about having to buy fabric? So I hope to do that later today along with getting some McCall's patterns. Currently on my table, I am working on New Look 6428. I'm making View C, which is the sleeveless dress with the notched collar, and I'm making it out of this beautiful cotton lycra knit. It's like 97% cotton, 3% lycra. So it has some stretch. And isn't this so pretty? I just love it. You can tell I've put the um, welts on. They don't conceal pockets. They're not welt pockets. I may have to do something about that. I'm not sure. I might. I might hide some pockets in there. Probably not. Maybe I'll put side seam pockets in. I don't know. I can't live without pockets. But anyway, I'm working on it. I am really surprised. I was uh, working on this earlier today and you know what? I thought it calls for a zipper up the back and it has a center back seam and I thought, I don't wanna put a zipper in that thing. Well, turns out I basted it together. This is not sewn permanently. I just basted it up the back and then basted the shoulder seams and tried to pull it over my head and it worked. I couldn't believe it. So I don't need to modify this at all. And that I'm really glad about. I did have enough extra scraps to be able to do it, which always save your scraps. So if you have some, roll it up. And if not, don't throw out the trash before you're done. Now coming up after I finish that, I am going to work on Simplicity 1897. I'm using this gorgeous Minerva exclusive rayon viscose, you know. I guess they call it viscose, I call it ram. But oh my gosh, it's tropical print, it's gorgeous. And a couple of things about this, I uh, was unsure if this was gonna work. I'm making view A and in this pattern, it's essentially a long tunic tank top with tiers under it. And the tiers are nine inches and the bottom tier cinches up with a little drawstring thing. Okay, well, I'm not doing that and I'm not making the maxi. I wanna make it maybe a little below the knee. I don't want it floor length. Um, I might go a little bit, maybe two or three inches below my knee, but that won't even be mid calf. Okay, so I didn't know if that was gonna work. I thought, hmm, part of the problem is I'm going to cut those tiers in half so my tiers won't be nine inches, they'll be five, which is a little less than half if you account for seam allowance. But uh, they get gathered one into the next. And the problem here is that I don't think I have enough of this to be able to do it, even piecing those together. So here's what I did. I cut a muslin and I went in and here's what I did. I didn't know how this was gonna work. And I thought, how can I, gauge how long I want that bodice to be because you can tell on this pattern it looks pretty long. So cut the bodice, put it together, took a piece of bias tape because uh, on the front it's gathered. You can kind of see. And I tried it on, but I tried it on over top of a dress that I have. It's my Hawaii dress. And that dress has a simple bodice and then it comes down to about right below my bust line, about halfway between my bust line and my waistline. 
and then it's tiered all the way down. It has like four tiers and then a little ruffle at the bottom. And I tried this on over top of it and I thought, okay, this gives me a better idea as to where I want those tiers to start because it kind of stuck in my head. You know, when I'm looking at it, I can think, okay, tiers. And I can actually see tiers. So it was really helpful. So I ended up folding it up quite a bit, taking, oh my gosh, quite a bit off of the length of the tunic part of this dress. So that leaves me with more fabric. So I think maybe I'll be able to pull it off. That is coming up after I finish that. So that's all the sewing. Let me move on to life. It's been kind of exciting around here. Uh, on a pattern review video that I did, I told you about a car crash that nearly happened. Uh, there's a car that went off the road and came up into my yard, almost came within about four feet of my house. And so, you know, I'm probably not telling you anything you don't know because you've probably seen it all over the place. And uh, so it's been really interesting around here with, you know, people calling me and saying, can we talk to you about this and put it on TV and all that crazy stuff. So um, probably the most uh, astonishing thing that happened with that is that Jeannie Most called me from CNN. I had no idea what a huge deal she is. She's so funny and she, her spin on things is such, she has such a dry wit, it's priceless. So she called me and said, we, can I talk to you about this and can I interview you? So she did and it went on CNN's website, not on television. But then that led to some other people um, coming and talking to me about it. And so it kind of went viral and I am a little astonished. <laughs> That's the word of the day is astonished. It was crazy, still crazy. But while my family and friends are all going, oh, you're famous, you're famous. And I'm going, you know, give it 48 hours. I guarantee you, nobody will remember. Nobody will even think about it. You mention it and people will go, what? So yeah, that's life. This week, instead of reading your comments, and there were several which were very funny regarding rude things people have said to you, which I'll share with uh, those with you maybe next week. But I thought this week I would share with you the absolutely hysterically funny comments that my son-in-law got on his TikTok video. His video is the one that kind of went viral. So these are so funny. Let me share them with you. Guillotine Jones says, she has the most rabid fan base. Jacob Romanetz says, the wall art is on dial-up. He's talking about how that waited a minute to fall off the wall. Oh, it's so funny. Your mom's a turtle says, Red Bull needs to sponsor extreme sewing. Anthony says, I guess the stop sign was decorative. <laughs> Velvet Wench says, that picture was 100% a paid actor. Cincy Boiler says, ultimate photo bomb. Yeah, no kidding. Chris says, goodness, that's a violent reaction to sewing tips. <laughs> you know what? I did hate that though. Mm. Dr. Pepper Barks says, I'm guessing you told them they can't park there. <laughs> okay. Anne says, I didn't know sewing was so exciting. I'm in. Yay. We recruited somebody else. The not so green witch says, today in Jen's sewing room, her neighbor's car. <laughs> uh, user, a big long bunch of numbers says, so S-E-W, is the driver going to stitch this? Um, I'm assuming you probably know when you stitch something on TikTok, what you're doing is playing a video and then you're, it's a split screen and then you're next to them and you're either reacting or doing something with them. Yeah kind of a play on words. Brian Thomas Cox says, wow, DoorDash is really stepping up their game. <laughs> I think this one is my favorite because you know how I stood there in that video and I was like this and I 
I had not processed what was happening. I heard a loud noise and then I looked outside. There's a car in my yard and I'm trying to think, there's a car in my yard. There's a car in my yard. Did my car, did that car go into my house? Is there a car? Is that person okay? So that's what was going through my mind as I was trying. To, and then I left, I ran outside. Okay, well, so Angie says, took Jen two to three business days to respond, but she eventually got out there. <laughs> oh, I think that was so funny. Tappy D. Eris says, your Uber driver has arrived. <laughs> you think? Ratty, oh, I love this. Ratty says, protect the machines at all costs. Boy, no kidding. Can you believe that stained glass did not hit that machine? Oh, unbelievable. Viking Andy says, you're a genius. Drive through alterations. <laughs> no. Didn't we just go into why we hate sewing for other people? Yeah. Jam the Clown says, you can go ahead and log off now. You win the internet for today. <laughs>